Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf Ches, Daf 8 of Masech the Sukkah. Daf Ches goes shtickle weiter. Yesterday we had some very technical in Yonim. Uh, today we're having uh, some more. Uh, you know, the Maisa, this is stuff that we've seen before. There's no Chidushim over here. Just like yesterday also, there are no Chidushim. It's things that we know. So this is, of course, more things that we know. Uh, squares and circles. <laughs> Remember when we had those kinds of sugyas, squares, and how do you figure out the size of the square relative to the circle? So, round sukkahs. I told you yesterday that we're getting into the sugya of a round sukkah, and it sounded very interesting, and I told you that it's not. Um, this is, yeah, so I'll let you decide. I don't want to determine for you, but uh, the point being that when you get into finding like areas of uh, circles and squares and uh, diameters and Stuff like that. Um, and then we get to like different kinds of, you know, some interesting sukkah configur- configurations on Dav Ches and Bez and different kinds of sukkahs. So we're going to start here on Dav Zayin and Bez. Um, so if you're actually looking at the Gemara, you'll probably notice a diagram on the right of a circle. So right above that diagram, about eight, eight, eight nine lines from the bottom. Amr of Yochanan says of Yochanan. Sukkah Asuri Kivshon. So if you have a sukkah that's made like a furnace, it's a circular, the point is it's a circular sukkah. So it says of Yochanan, if the um, sukkah has um, in its circumference enough leishe v'chadei v'chavdal b'nei odom, so if its circumference is large enough that 24 people could sit around it, kshera, so then it's a kosher sukkah. Vimla psula. And if not, then it's possible. So you have a round sukkah, and the shaila is, what's the circumference? How large is it? So Rabbi Yochanan says, well, if 24 people could sit around it, can encircle it, sit down and encircle it, so then it's large enough. In fact, the Gemara Kiman. Who's a Biochanan holding like? Kirebi? Is he holding like Rebbe? The Amrakol Sukkah She'ein Ba Arba Amas Arba Amas Psula? The largest size of a Sukkah that we've seen up until now is Rebbe's opinion, which is four Amas by four Amas. Now, is it possible that when Rabbi Yochanan says that, a, that the circumference of a Sukkah needs to have 24 people sit around it, is it possible that he's saying that because he holds like Rebbe that the Sukkah needs to be Four Amis by four Amis square. Mirde, Gavra Ba'am Suyasid. Says the Gemara, how much space does a fellow take up when he sits in Amma? So if you have 24 people sitting around this circular sukkah, so that means that the, di- the circumference of this sukkah is 24 Amis. Right? 24 people sitting around it. Each person takes up an ama. The circumference of this sukkah is 24 amas. Now, as we've learned in other places, Anything that has a circumference of three has a diameter of one. And therefore, if Rabbi Yochanan is saying, that this circular sukkah has to have a circumference of 24, that means that the diameter of it is going to be 8, a third. Yet, Rebbe's opinion is that a sukkah only needs to be 4 amis, not 8 amis. So, betray sarsagi. Why should you have to have a circumference of 24? For the Gemara, you should really only have to have a circumference of 12. If you have a circumference of 12, so then that means that the diameter is a third, which is 4, which is Rebbe's shear. So if Rabbi Yochanan holds like Rebbe, that a sukkah needs to be 4 amas by 4 amas, well then, shouldn't a circle with a, a circumference of 12 suffice? Why 24? So Amphrit the Gemara, Ahani mile bi'igula. So says, um, says the Gemara that this description of the circle 
is kilu a circle meaning 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 if you're going to have a circle that has a diameter of 4 so that circle would fit into a square that each of the sides are 4 right if you have a square that each of the sides are 4 amis so then inside of that you'll be able to fit a circle that its diameter is 4 amis and therefore if we wanted to just now suggest that the um, circle should only have to have a circumference of 12 and that way the diameter will be 4 but that circle will basically that circle will fit inside a square that is 4 amis for each side now if the circle could fit into the square right meaning so Rebbe says that a circle has to be a square that's 4 amis by 4 amis 4 amis on each side so a circle that fits into that square Mimele is going to be smaller than the square and if it's smaller than the square, so then it's too small. So I mean the biigula of abribuya bribuya by That in order to make it, you know, the shayach uh, to a square, it's going to have to be larger, right? This circle with the diameter of four is you're gonna have to. It's gonna be smaller than a square that has four amis on each side. So mirde kamo mruba yasra la eagle reveal. So now the gemara says, okay, fine. So how much larger? is a square than a circle, right? Meaning, if you have a circle that fits inside of a square, so then if we calculate the area, how much do you have to extend the circle so now the area, it will have the same area as the square that it is currently inside of. So if we, so that square is larger than the circle by a ribua, by a quarter, which in, in sort of Torah math is a third. And therefore, if you take, right, so therefore, um, the, the, um, or I guess technically it's the square is larger than the circle by a quarter of the square. But the point is that if the, uh, if the circumference of the circle is 12, so by adding four to it, so a third of the circle or a quarter of the square, which has an area of 16. So if you add four to 12, right? So, so then, right? So meaning the, 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 um, square is larger than the circle by what we're calling a ribua, a quarter, right? By four in this case. So then we should only need that the circumference of the circle be 16, not 12. But why is Rabbi Yochanan saying that it is 24, right? So again, so mirde kamen meruba yasr ala eagle, how much larger is a square than a circle revia? Uh, a quarter larger. So meaning we're going to be adding 4 to our circumference of 12. So b'shitzer sagi. So it should be enough if the circle just has a circumference of 16. Why does Rabbi Yochanan say that the circle has to have a circumference of 24? So amfret the Gemara ha'nemile be'igul denafik migo ribua. So says the um, Gemara. So again, so says the Gemara. Meaning, if you take a square, right? So basically, if you have a circle inside of a square, okay? And now what you want to do is you want to say, well, if we look at the square, and the square has an area of 16, and we want to basically make the uh, circle have the same area, so we want to make now a circle with a, 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 a you know an area of, 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 of 16, essentially. So then, so then we would basically extend the circle in this manner. However, the problem is that you still won't be able to fit a square inside of it. Meaning, Rebbe requires that the sukkah have four sides that are four amus on each side. So meaning, it wouldn't be enough to just take the same, to create a circle that has the same area of the square. We actually need a circle that contains the square in it, right? So, anemile be'igul denofik migo ribua. Yeah, fine. If we wanted to get a, 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 um, circle that has the, the, you know, if we had a circle and we want to extend it to make it the same size as the square that contains it, so we'd have to increase it by a ribua. But I've a ribua denofit migo igula, but what we're after is a square that's inside of a circle because we know that the sukkah needs to be four amas by four amas. It has to be a square four amas by four amas. And we need that. So if we want to have a round sukkah, it has to be large enough that it can entirely contain 
a square that is four amas by four amas. And therefore, it's by your face, can need more, Mishamorsha the Karnasa, in order to be able to cover all of the corners of the square. Fine. So, how basically the question that we're asking now is how large would the circle have to be in order to entirely contain a square that is four amas by four amas? So, basically, we have to take the diagonal of the square and that will become the diameter of the circle. Right? So, Mirde call Amsa Biribua, Amsa Vitre Chumshe Balachsona. That whenever you have if you have a square that is one amma by one amma, so its diagonal is going to be one and two fifths ammas. And therefore, in our example where it's four ammas by four ammas, so it's one and two fifths times four, which is five and three fifths. So for, therefore, the diameter of the, 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 the diagonal of a square, so a sukkah that is four ammas by four ammas, the, di, the diagonal of that square would be five and three fifths amas and therefore if we're saying that any circle that its diameter is one so its circumference is three so in order to find the circumference of the circle that will be able to contain a square whose diagonal is five and three fifths you'll have to take five and three fifths and multiply that by three and you get sixteen and four fifths and therefore b'shivsa nichi chumsha sagya so if that's the case well then the diameter of the, cir- the circumference of the circle should only have to be 16 and 4 fifths. Why does Rabbi Yochanan say 24? So the my answer is low duck. Well, Rabbi Yochanan wasn't being particular, par- particularly particular. Ah, 16 and, and 4 fifths, 24, same difference. Emu Darminu low duck porta, tuvumi aminon. To which the Gemara says, one second. Okay, I can give you a little bit of, of margin of error. But between... 16 and 4 fifths and 24 is just way too much. So, right. Tuva mi amino lodok. So, omu le mark shisha breder of chizda le rav ashi. So, it says mark shisha breder of chizda to rav ashi. Mi sovered gave ba amsu yosef. Tlosa gave betarte amsu yasve. To which mark shisha breder of chizda says to rav ashi, wait a second, we've been assuming until now that a fellow takes up an amma of space. In which case, the circumference of the circle, 24 people, each person takes up an amma, the circumference is 24 amas. So we're assuming that Rabbi Yochanan is saying that the circumference of the sukkah would have to be 24 amas. The kasha is, who says that that's correct? Who says that that's correct? Maybe, said, right, suggests, Mark Shishabre de Chizda, that actually three people fit into two amas. I eat one, each person only takes up two-thirds of an amma of space. And therefore, these 24 people are really only taking up 16 ammas of space. Two-thirds of 24 is 16. And therefore, the circumference of the circle is really 16. It's not 24. And therefore, 16 is pretty close to 16 and four-fifths. So therefore, kama avalu shitzer. So the circumference of the circle is 16. But the Gemara says, yeah, but we need 16 and 4 fifths, not 16. We need 16. So, low doc, the Gemara says, yeah, come on, but 16 and 4 fifths is, is, you know, pretty close to 16. So, to which the Gemara says, yeah, I know that they're pretty close, but that's not enough. Close is not enough in this case, because by saying 16, that a sukkah, a sukkah that's circular only needs to be 16 amas in circumference, your mamish can now have people building a sukkah that's 16 amas in circumference, but it's not kosher because it has to be at least 16 and 4 fifths. So yeah, it's true that it's close, but it really isn't close enough because as long as it's smaller than the, pro- than the proper amount, it's, it's really puzzle. And therefore you can't just be makel and say it's enough to say 16. You could overshoot it a little bit, maybe, but not undershoot it. So Amalir of Asi... The Rav Ashi, the Olam Gavir Ba'amsu Yosef. No, really, a fellow takes up an amma of space, and therefore, twenty-four people take up twenty-four ammas of space. But Reb Yochanan Makum Gavre Lo Kachashiv. But Reb Yochanan isn't taking account the place that the into account the place that the people sit. So, meaning, if you have twenty-four people sitting in a circle, well, there's going to be a nafkamina between if you draw the line outside the twenty-four people. Let's say they're sitting with their backs towards the inside. 
So as an afkamina, if you're going to be uh, sitting, you know, the line, if you're going to draw the line around the people on their outsides, or if you're going to draw, draw the line inside, like by their backs, inside the circle, there's a big difference because a person takes up an ama of space, which means that memele, instead of, um, um, you know, so we say that if you have a circle that is 24 amas around, so then the diameter is 8 amas, but if we're going to take away one ama on each side for the space of the fellow, so now it's only six amas. And a, 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 a circle that has a diameter of six has a circumference of 18, which is already pretty close to 16 and four fifths. So, kama havilu haviluhu tam nesre. Veshiv sa nechichum shosage. Yeah, but we only need 16 and four fifths. Hainu de lo dok. Uluchum or lo dok. So we say, yeah, exactly. Over here already. We're not being so particular. Meaning, Rabbi Yochanan is saying is that the suk, a circular, circular suk has to be large enough that 24 people could sit around. Then you take the inner diameter, which is six, and then um, the the circumference is 18, which is slightly more than what you talk, uh, need, which is 16 and four fifths. But Peseda, we're being a little bit machmir, a little bit more machmir, and say that um, the suk has to be uh, have a, a circumference of 18. And Shalom Yisrael, and it's okay. We're not being exact here. We're overshooting it slightly. So the Rabbanon of Kesari, some say it's the Dayan of Kesari, they want to come up with a new equation, which is not correct, but they want to say that in the Igula Dinofik Migoribua River, okay, fine. So, like we said earlier, that if you have a circle that's inside of a square, so the square is going to be a Ribua. You know, 25%, depending from the perspective of the square of the circle, but if it's the, from the perspective of the square, the square is 25% larger than the circle. From the perspective of the circle, it's a third, whatever it is. We bought the Nafik Migoigula, but a square that's inside of a circle, Palga, it's actually um, 50% larger. And therefore, they want to argue, they want to, make, they want to make the argument, the mathematical argument, that therefore, if you have a square, that is four amos by four amos, like Rebbe, and it's inside of a circle, that circle is going to have to be um, twice uh, t- uh, twice the um, size. I'm sorry, I didn't mean twice the size, 50% larger, right? And therefore, um, if you have this Rebbe's square, which is four amos by four amos, so that its area is 16, so then the circle is going to have to be 50% larger than that, which is 24. Uh, I have a circumference of 24. Uh, all right. What do you want me to tell you? Oh, right. Veloi to al kachazina de lo have a kule high, but that's uh, it's not correct. It's just not a correct equation, and therefore it makes more sense to say like um, what was it? Rav uh, Asi said to Ravashi that it's talking about the inner part of the uh, circle. So basically, um, yeah. So therefore, Rabbi Yochanan is saying that this sukkah is going to have to be twenty-four people, and you take the inner part, which is really a circumference of uh, 18 Amis. Sounds good to me. Interesting. So if you have like these uh, Yotzim, these people would build like pottery and Inyanim Kaele. So, so they, they would basically live in like one house that was further in from the other house. It almost reminds me of like these Erevin Sugas when you had those like two Chatzers, one inner than the other. So the inner house is where he would live and he would store all of his pottery and stuff like that. And in the, in the outer house, that's where he would like bring out his pottery and that's where he would, his store would be and, 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 and that was that. But he lived in the inner house and then sort of the outer house was kind of like a store front kind of thing. So Pnimis in a sukkah. So the, the inner one he can't use as a sukkah because it's his house. You need it to be clear that it's a sukkah. This is his house. He lives in the inner one. V'chayev is mezuzah. And you have to put a mezuzah on the inner house. V'achitzona, but the outer house, sukkah. You can make it into a sukkah, no problem. Uftuim and Amazuza. And um, you don't have to put a mezuzah on it because it's not where he lives. It's not where he lives. He lives in the inner house. So he could use the outer house as a sukkah. Ve'amai. How come? Tavi chitzonu kebe shara apnimis. V'tischayi b'mezuzah. Shouldn't the outer house be considered like a gatehouse to the inner house? And therefore, just like a gatehouse, you have to put a mezuzah so also in this outer house, you should have to put up a mezuzah, to which the Gemara says, yeah, but it's not kviya. It's not a, se- a settled place. He can move. He could, you know, it's not like a, um, really like a fixed, established place. And therefore, and therefore, um, 
it's not, you know, even the outer house isn't considered to be like a, a gate house for the inner house because it's not like a fixed house. He might move very often. It's not like a, you know, a settled fixed house that he's going to really live in necessarily permanently. The sukkahs of Ganvach, what's that? Sukkahs Goyim, sukkahs of Gentiles, sukkahs Noshim, sukkahs built by women, sukkahs Behema, sukkahs built by uh, animals, sukkahs Kusim. Sukkah is built by these Kusi friends. Sukkah mikomakum, or really any kind of sukkah. Okay? Kshera, it's a kosher sukkah. As long as it is, uh, has proper schach. My kilchasa, what does it mean that it has proper schach? So, Amrav Chizde, Vusha Asal, it sells sukkah. As long as it's made for shade, so then that's good. Because the main thing in a, in a sukkah is for the shade. So as long as the shade is made properly, that would be acceptable. When we say, and any kind of sukkah is really acceptable, what's that coming to include that we didn't already list? To include the sukkahs of rakbash. What's that? The Tanah Rabbanah, as we taught in the Bryce, the sukkahs rakbash, which is what? Sukkahs roim, the sukkahs of shepherds, sukkahs kayotzim, the sukkahs of um, people who like guard like figs and things, sukkahs borgenin, for people who uh, like guard cities, sukkahs shomre peris, Sukkahs for people who guard fruits. Sukkahs mikomakom, any sort of sukkah. Kshera is a kosher sukkah. Vavadche temu sukheches kilchasa, as long as it has proper schach. My kilchasa, what does it mean proper schach? Amav chizdevu shasa, let's sell sukkah. As long as you made the schach for shade. Mikomakom lasuye mai, and what is any kind of sukkahs coming to include? Lasuye sukkahs ganvach. To include sukkahs ganvach, which we said is goim, noshim, behema, and kusim. Okay, fine. So we see that basically any of these sukkahs are kosher sukkahs, which is interesting. What is that? I, I don't really know what that means. Like, can, do you not have to do any, like, like, can I just like find a sukkah that these people made and the assumption is they made it for shade and I can just use it out of the box? Is that the point? I don't know. Okay, so now we want to know how come in the first brisa we you sort of, as like the default, we used ganvach and we said mikomakum comes to include um, rakbash and in the second part, in the second brisa we said uh, that the default is rakbash and the uh, mikomakum comes to include ganvach. So I turn the ganvach, alima le ganvach. So the first brisa that used as its default ganvach. It was because Mishum de Kviye is because the these sukkahs of uh, Goyim, Noshim, Behemis, uh, Kusim, they are Kavua. And because they are Kavua, so then, um, so that's why they would be a good Akasha sukkah. And therefore, and, and when we say that, and really any sukkah can work, that's coming to include Rakbash because, you know, Roim, like shepherds and these people, they're kind of on the move. So they're not Kavua. So therefore, we have to include even them. And in the second brisa, the default was sort of these rakbush people because um, the bnei chiyuva ninu because at least they have a chiyuv to build a sukkah. These shepherds and 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 guardsmen they still have to build a sukkah. And therefore, but the second brisa included the ganvach like the mikomakom and even any sukkah is a kosher sukkah to include um, um, the the um, ganvach because they are not chayiv. Uh, in the mitzvah of sukkah. That was daf ches of mesech to sukkah. So uh, yeah, a very technical daf where we discussed circular sukkahs. Rabbi Yochanan's opinion that a circular sukkah has to have 24 people to sit around it. Um, we're trying to figure out what exactly that means because if Rebbe's opinion, which is the largest opinion that we've seen for a sukkah so far, is four amas by four amas, well then it seems like 24 people sitting around this uh, circle would, would really be um, overshooting it. And um, our, basically the maskan of the answer was, yes, it is slightly overshooting it because 24 people, actually the inner circle would be have a circumference of um, 18, which is slightly overshooting it because the circumference would have to be um, 16 and, and, and 4 fifths. But um, that, that, that would be, right, that's acceptable. And, that, and that's what Rabbi Yochanan means when he says 24 people would have to sit around it, i.e. would have to have a circumference of 18. Uh, then at the end we discussed a uh, sukkah that is like in, if you have a fellow who, you know, is like a craftsman and he's got an inner house and an outer house. So the inner house is his proper house. He can't build a sukkah there and he has to put up a mezuzah. The outer house, however, is sort of like, you know, it's like his story. He doesn't live in there. He doesn't put up a sukkah in there, uh, a mezuzah in there, but it is usable as a sukkah. And then we basically said all these different examples of different sukkahs, whether from people who are not chayiv in sukkah or whether from people that have these kind of temporary sukkahs, it's okay. The main thing is as long as it's a sort of hut, 
that is built for shade, that would be sort of the minimum requirement for a sukkah and it would be usable. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly though, like what the halachas are in terms of, I don't know, does it have to be made the shame sukkah? I don't, but I guess if we're saying the shame sukkah is the shame the, the shade, but what about the fact that we said like a sukkah built by like a Gentile is acceptable? I guess it's, as long as you built it for shade, I guess it's okay. I don't know. I'm not clear on that. I guess it doesn't have to be built for the mitzvah of sukkahs. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyways, that was the ches of Mesech Sukkah. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Cheers.